Our today's topic is room's expectancy theory. The expectancy theory places an emphasis on the process and on the content of motivation as well, and it integrates needs, equity and reinforcement theories. Victor Vroom's 1964 expectancy theory aims to explain how people choose from the available actions. Vroom defines motivation as a process that governs our choices among alternative forms of voluntary behavior. The basic rationale of this theory is that motivation stems from the belief that decisions will have their desired outcomes. The motivation to engage in an activity is determined by appraising three factors. Expectancy. A person's belief that more effort will result in success. If you work harder, it will result in better performance. In this case the question is, am I capable of making a good grade on a math test if I learn more? Appraisal of this factor is based on the effort to learn math, on knowledge of math, on the previous experience of math test results, on self-efficacy and specific self-rated abilities. Instrumentality, the person's belief that there is a connection between activity and goal. If you perform well, you will get reward. In this case the question is that, will I get the promised reward, a good mark, for performing well on a math test? Appraisal of this factor is based on the accuracy and consistency of marking. If one day I get a good grade and another day I get a bad grade for the same performance, then the motivation will decrease. Valence, the degree to which a person values the reward, the results of success. In this case the question is that, do I value the reward that I get? Appraisal of this factor is based on the importance of its subject map, the good mark, and the good performance in general. Vroom supposes that expectancy, instrumentality and valence are multiplied together to determine motivation. This means that if any of these is zero, then the motivation to do something will be zero as well. A person who doesn't see the connection between effort and performance will have zero expectancy. A person who can't perceive the link between performance and reward will have zero instrumentality. For a person who doesn't value the anticipated outcome, reward will have zero valence. For example if I think that no matter how hard I'm studying I can't learn math due to lack of necessary skills or that no matter how good I perform on the test I don't always get good marks so the reward is unpredictable, not dependent on my success or the good mark from math is not important for me, and I'm not interested in math so the reward is not attractive then I won't be motivated to learn for the exam. The expectancy theory highlights individual differences in motivation and contains three useful factors for understanding and increasing motivation. This theory implies equity and importance of consistent rewards as well, Koenig and Steele 2006.